Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And today we're bringing him back Arla, our boy. You know, we got to. We got to just go through them all again, see what we got, see what else we get to do with. He has uh, such beautiful art. I not? mean, yeah, he is. Uh, but this time we're playing it a little different. We're going to be all about his Stranger deck and the Stranger danger that is there. Uh, but before we get into it, guys, we just want to remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. Go check it out. It really just takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support, and we greatly appreciate it. With that, let's delve into Stranger Danger. So, Arla is the ruler. He's got Stranger 10, and in Judgment is white and green green, and he got Energized for white, red, or green. Yeah. So, pretty simple, pretty standard as the new rulers are. Um, however, his little ability for his Regalia, whenever a light Regalia enters the field under your control, you choose one. If it's Wings of the Archangel, you choose two. Choose two strangers from your stranger deck at random and remove them from the game. Up to two target resonators gain flying and two plus two plus two. Draw a card for each resonator of the flying, or you may pay zero to do judgment this turn. So, most of the time in this deck, you're going to be removing the two strangers because that's what you want to do with this deck. Because yep. the more strangers removed, the better off that you're going to be. Um, and then when he judgments, he turns into a tin tin. And he's got enter, put the top card of your magic stone deck into the field, choose a card from your stranger deck at random and remove it from the game. And his God's Art, which is a big part of the deck, is two white and two green, put any number of light or wind stranger resonators from different with different names from your area into the field. When you don't control a stranger resonator, you, you lose the game. Just straight up. Just so he is very dangerous in that regard because it puts that clause on you that says if you lose this, lose a guy, you lose the game. Like it, it yeah. kind of is rough. But there is 10 different ones, so that's 10 different chances of you not to die. Yeah. And of course, the first one of, of, is Michael the Archangel. He's a, the three white stranger, 10 10 flying. You can pay one, prevent all damage that would be dealt to angel resonators you control until end of turn. So at least if they try to, this is the last one, and they try to kill it, you just prevent the damage. Thank you. Yeah. Next up is Frigg, the goddess of abundance. She is two green and one for a 10 10. Automatic abilities of goddess resonators you control uh, trigger an additional times and then enter recover magic stone you control So technically you get to recover two with her, which is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, the next one is Athena the Windmaster It's a one drop six six enter put the two target cards in any removed area into the owner's graveyard And when this card is put in the graveyard from the field you may add one wind If you do choose a card from a stranger deck at random put it in your your hand so that might be fun and then banish this card, target a stranger, or regalia gains barrier until end of turn. So this also helps you survive. Yeah, that is major why she's there is because, I mean, yes, she does take away from one of your wins, but she makes one not targetable. Yeah. Uh, next is Ishtar, the, the great goddess of kindness. She is two white and two blue for a 10-10. Uh, in enters, you put a non-stranger resonator from your graveyard into the field. She is, you're not going to play her for blue, so it doesn't matter that she has blue. Yeah. She just gets to come into play. Yeah, exactly. And also it comes into play as Thor, the White Lightning. It's a red and a white. Eight, eight. Enter. Remove the top card of your deck from the game. Destroy all non-magic stone entities of your opponent controls with the same cost. And then, of course, you can only pay a white to get it plus zero, plus two. But the fact that you're able to do this and hopefully get rid of their altars and all their small dudes and yeah. just, just get it done. Next is the Guardian of Outland. He is two green and a red for a 0-20. Mm -hmm. And enter, put the top card of your Magic Stone deck into the ref field rested. At the beginning of your turn, this card's attack becomes equal to its defense. So this dude helps you get there really quickly. Oh yeah. And he's a 0-20, so he's hard to kill. So it's kind of nice on that regard. Oh yeah. Next one is Aramatsu, the Oracle of Sacred Text. It's a red and a white, 8-8. Eight, eight. And other light slash or fire resonators you control game plus two, plus two. You may pay one less to play lighter fire resonators. So this obviously just helps you play your other dudes uh, faster. Yeah, sure. you, you get them out and then she helps you pump them up too. Yeah. Uh, next is Artemis, the goddess of hunt. She has two white and two green for a 10-10 with swiftness and first strike. You pay a white, target any you control gains barrier. Pay a white and a green, resonators you control get plus two, plus two. Pay two white and, two and a green, remove target resonator from the game. Yeah, simple as that. Yeah, pretty straightforward <laughs> and uh, hey, let's let's do some stuff. Yeah, yeah. She's probably the most fair, <coughs> unfair card I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, Ares, the Night God Emperor. It's two white, 10-6, precision and eternal. So this one will probably help you just win the game forever. Yeah, he's there to keep you alive. Yeah. And then next is Apollon, the God of Light. He is two white and two for a 14-17 with Pierce. 
If damage will be dealt to you, it's dealt to this card instead. When this card is put into a graveyard from the field, remove it from the game. If you do, your life becomes 40. So, this dude is cool. His ability, if you use it from Arla's God's Art, it's not going to really matter. Because if they kill all your resonators, you still lose the game. That clause is still a thing. But, if not, then you get to reset your life to 40. Yeah. Thanks. And he's just good. And that art is fantastic. Like, it reminds me of the old, like, Final Fantasy art, mm -hmm. for sure. All right, we'll get in the resonators of the deck now. Uh, we have Morning Angel. It's a one white. 4-4, four, four, quick cast flying. Enter, remove up to three target cards in your graveyard from the game. In a graveyard. In a graveyard from the so game. So it's mostly to target theirs. Um, if you need to target yours, you can, but mostly you're just going to remove their stuff. Yeah, seems pretty simple. Uh, next is Pierre, the Godspeed Archer. He is one white for a 4-4 four, four with flying and swiftness. This card enters with two divine bow counters. You remove a bow counter from this card, it deals 400 damage to target attacking or blocking res J Resonator. Remove two from this card, destroy target addition. Remove four from this card, destroy target J resonated with flying. And you can tap, put X divine bow counters on this card where X is the number of stranger resonators in your removed area. So if you get a lot of strangers removed really quickly, this dude gets to be ridiculous. Yeah. And the fact that you don't need to tap him to do his other abilities, the fact that you're just like, all right, tap him, I gain, what, five to six dudes? Yeah. Or counters, and you're just like, pop, 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 pop. Yeah. Just throwing them out. Like Oprah. <laughs> and the next one is a uh, Acel or a cell, yeah. the the white gel eagle. It's a one one for one beast. Each turn you may play your first Acel's reconnaissance without paying its mana cost. Enter, choose a card from your stranger deck at random and remove it from the game. Then put three one one counters on this card for each stranger resonator in a removed area. Whenever this card attacks, it may deal X damage to target resonator where X is the number one counters on it. Jesus. That can get out of hand quick. Yeah. So yeah. this is where this is where the stranger danger starts because all your resonators are mostly about the strangers and how good they how many you have removed. They all get better. And it just kinda of, kinda of gets ridiculous. So the fact that you put three one one counters for each stranger. Yeah. So if you have all ten removed, then he becomes a 30-30 or right. gets 30 counters to be like, ah, why not? Um, kill all your dudes. Well, yeah. Swing. I mean it's kinda of ridiculous. Yeah. Next is Magna's Angel. It is a white green for a one-one flyer. Enter. Uh, choose a stranger from your stranger deck and remove it from the game. At random, this card gains plus four plus four for each different name among all resonators in your removed area. All strangers, so. Yeah. For each one, this dude gets plus four plus four, so easy enough, this is a 14-14 flyer or greater. Yeah. And the next one is Sacred Beast of Artemis. It's a <clears throat> green, white, and four for a 10-10. But, you may pay one less to play this card for your for each different name among all stranger resonators in your removed area, so it can be really cheap really quick. This card gains all attributes, races, activated abilities, and keywords abilities of strangers in your removed area. So this guy can just be unstoppable by himself. Yeah. Completely. So if you have Artemis in your remove zone, then you get to have all those abilities of, hey, I get barrier, I get to do to pierce, precision. Yeah, but you get all the activated abilities oh, yeah. of Artemis to be like barrier plus two plus two or remove dudes from the game. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. yeah, get out of here. Like literally, if you just have Artemis and then Ares, you kind of just win. You also, if you have Thor, you get to pay white and pump him up so he doesn't die. Yeah. It's kind of ridiculous. That, that's very <laughs> ridiculous. All right, and the first spell we have is Earthly Flash. It's a green and a white. Uh, Sword Art. Quick cast. Choose one. Cancel target resonator spell. Total cost three or less. Or destroy target resonator with flying. Those are both great options. Yeah. Uh, next is Awakening of the Wing Lord. I only have a few of these because they're they're still pretty they're good, but they're good. not like crazy. Yeah. Uh, white green quick cast sword art. Recover up to two J resonators with flying, or look at the top four of your deck. Put a non chant card total cost two less from among them into the field. Put the rest in the bottom in a random order, or choose a random card from your stranger deck and remove it from the game. You gain life equal to its attack. That's mostly what you're gonna do. Yeah. Because you're gonna gain life off of almost all of them. The only one you don't is the Guardian. And you have a 1 in 10 chance of getting him, so it's That's you're fun. probably pretty good. Yeah, as long as you don't have the bad luck of me and get a Will of the Wisp at one <laughs> yeah. time. That was not fun. Uh, Alright, Cell's Reconnaissance. That's one white quick cast. It's a sword art as well. Play the top X plus one cards of your deck, where X is the number of stranger resonators in a removed area. Put a card from among them in your hand, the rest of the top or bottom of your deck of any order. The fact that you can get any card, which is really good, so if you just need another kill spell really quickly, it can help. Or the cancel, the cancel. And if you have the, the little bird in play, that is free. Yeah. The exactly. first one you play is free, so pretty good. Next is Crystallization. It is a one white quick cast. 
Destroy target resonator. Its control gains ten thousand or gains a thousand life. If this card is awakened, you choose a stranger from a random and remove from the game. So, and it awakens for a green. So technically, two mana, you can kill a dude. Sure, they gain yeah. a thousand life, but you don't care because you're literally gonna kill them in one shot almost always. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I would in any card game, I will pay one to kill your most biggest threat and gain you life. I don't yeah. care. And this helps you remove dudes. So, like. The thing with Arlo with removing all your dudes is you Godzard on the end of their turn, so that way your dudes can to untap and attack the <laughs> next turn. Win. So you're gonna already be able to probably one shot them pretty easily. Yeah. So it's kind of not really that big of a deal. Yep. And of course, to help you with that is Wings of the Archangel, Archangels, Ar Archangel. It's a green and a white. It's the Regalia. It has Mythic rule, so it can only have one on the field. J Ruler gains flying. It tap produce two wheels of any combination the, of green and white. Spin this only to play God's Art abilities, Sword Arts, or Angels, just in case. Yeah. Uh, next is Seal of Lineth, because it's a really good control spell. Yeah. It's one white, remove target non-J ruler, non-magic stone into your opponent controls from the game. And as long as this, when this leaves play, put that card back into play. So essentially, as long as this stays in play, that guard is removed. Yeah. And it, it's just a one drop remove something that's really, really good. Also, just one drop remove something is Lie of the Sacred Spirit. It's a quick cast, and you have two multiple options, but you only really you need one. You may uh, remove target resonator with 900 attack or, or more from the game, or you can search your deck for a five hero resonator reveal and put it in your hand. But you're just literally just removing a big dude. Yeah, that's mostly what it's there. That, that's as simple as you need it to be for sure. Um, the stones are relatively simple. Uh, we're just playing two Adaracti or sorry, we're playing Adaracti's Memoria, which is the dual stone for the the, the ruler. rulers. Uh, we're playing Magic Stone of the Gusting Skies, which is the dual stone for green and white. And then Light Magic Stones and Wind Magic Stones, because we're just playing green-white. Yep. Sure, some of our strangers have other colors, but you're not trying to play those. You're only getting those off his God's Art, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, literally you're just removing everything you can for your the bigger, for your deck to be the biggest it can possibly yeah. be. Yeah, you want as many strangers as removed as possible as quickly as you can, because all of your resonators get better yeah. with more strangers removed. And then if they die, then you're like, cool, I guess I'll God's Art and kill you, because I can. Yeah. Uh, overall, the deck seems really fun. I, I really am looking forward to playing it and see what it can do, because, I mean, having a different amount of strangers makes Arla ridiculous. Oh, yeah. It's a different way to play the strangers, too, because all the other ones are all about playing the strangers. Playing them and getting them and having multiples of the same one, whereas Arla doesn't want multiples, because he's way better without them. Yeah. So it's just going to be interesting to see. So. Be on the lookout for that, guys. The deck list will be down below. Go check it out, and uh, we'll see you all again next time. Goodbye. Bye. Also, guys, we just remind you all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all the future content, make sure you click that bell. It will give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout-out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. We love you.